you see each of the vegetables or the uh, crops that are here, they have a unique signature of phytochemicals. Now these phytochemicals, they can be used to target uh, special pathways in cancer and stop the progress of the disease. Fidushi Nirgin Bujun is a biologist at the University of Mauritius. She is a recipient of the Best African Women Researcher Award from Merck Africa in 2017. And she has good reasons to talk about fruits and vegetables from a local market. As we are shooting this video, 800 people may have died from cancer. And around the same number of people have been diagnosed as new cases. When we look in sub-Saharan Africa, 80% of the newly diagnosed cases of cancer are, are in the advanced stages of uh, the disease. The basic idea is to use uh, natural agent to stop the initial stages of cancer or to stop and reverse the process to malignancy. And on the shelves of this market, examples of beneficial cancer-fighting products abound. We really hope uh, that in the near future, we will be able to come up with uh, product development, whilst at the same time encouraging the local population to fight a chemical-rich uh, molecules. There's nothing like studying time scales and spatial scales that far exceed anything that we experience to realize um, that we're pretty insignificant and in fact we can mess this up and it doesn't really make a difference um, to the rest of the universe. If Andrea Ghez, winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020, makes such remarks, it is because she has her reasons. She works on black holes, especially on the one at the center of our galaxy called Sagittarius A and her research is at the limits of our understanding of the universe. They represent, in some sense, the frontier of our knowledge of how things work. Um, they represent the breakdown of our understanding of the laws of physics. We don't know how to make the laws of general relativity, which describe strong gravity, work together with the laws of quantum mechanics, which describes things that are very small. And black holes are both. So they really encapsulate um, uh, a place where we just don't know how the universe works. And to prove, for the first time, the presence of a huge black hole in the center of our galaxy, it took time, much time. The proof of the black hole really went in stages because um, what we could do has evolved with time. It's actually gotten more and more powerful. It's a project in which time an investment of time really helps because you're studying orbits of stars that, ha um, that are moving around the black hole on time scales of um, 10, 20 years. It is therefore with great hindsight and humility that she perceives humanity and its position in the universe. We're so finite. We're so small. You know, the, if, we, um, if we compress the time of the universe to a calendar year, we're the last second, we're the last hurrah. We actually are pretty fragile little um, piece of the universe and it's our responsibility to take care of this, you know, our backyard.